In this video we're going to be looking at expanding brackets. Uh, well that's what it's called anyway and what it means is that you will have a, an expression like this 3 bracket x plus 5 bracket and expanding the brackets means multiplying them out because effectively what does this mean? It means that I've got 3 lots of x plus 5. So there is a sneaky little time sign in there that we don't bother writing. Three times whatever's inside the bracket. So three lots of x plus five. And so what we need to do is we need to multiply three by whatever is inside the bracket. So we've got to multiply the three by the x. So that would be three x. Three lots of x is three x. And then multiply the 3 by the 5, which would be 15. So 3x plus 15 is the expanded form of that bracket. Let's look at another one. Let's look at uh, 5, 2, minus 3x. Okay? So that means I've got 5 lots of 2 minus 3x. So I'm multiplying the 5 by whatever's inside the bracket. I've got 5 times the 2, which I know is 10. And then I've got 5 lots of the minus 3x, would be minus 15x. Okay, so this is the expanded form. Let's look at another one. Let's look at um, if I had something like 3x, um, 4x plus 2. Okay, this looks absolutely horrible. It looks completely different, but it's not. It works in exactly the same way. This means I've got 3x lots of 4x plus 2. So I'm multiplying the 3x by whatever's inside the bracket. Now, 3x times 4x we've looked at in another video before this. And I deal with the numbers first. So I've got 3 times 4 is 12. And then I've got x times x is x squared. So 3x times 4x is 12x squared. Then I need to multiply the 3x by the 2. So that's 6x. So expanded, this is 12x squared plus 6x. And this is the more difficult of these three, okay? Because you've got to remember about the algebra bit. So let's look at one more example, just to make sure we're clear on what we're doing here. Um, an example that you could potentially have, I guess, I haven't seen one that looks like this, but let's give it a go. Um, yeah. Let's have 8 lots of 2x minus 5 uh, plus 3y. Okay? So what this means is that I've got 8 lots of whatever's inside the bracket. So I've got 8 lots of the 2x, which would be 16x. I've got 8 lots of the minus 5, which is 8 times minus 5 is minus 40. And then I've got 8 lots of the 3y. So 8 lots of the 3y would be 24y. And that's how I can write, I can expand a bracket. It doesn't matter how many terms I've got in the bracket, but I'm multiplying each of them by the number that is outside. Okay? And that's how we expand brackets. And using these arrows can really help you make sure you've got all the terms correct and all the signs correct as well. 